Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asks MPs to disseminate information about new government schemes in their constituencies. Four-story building collapses in Mumbai over 40 feared trapped. Supreme Court now hearing plea of rebel Congress JDS MLAs of Karnataka regarding their resignations. The flood situation remains critical in Assam and Bihar. Over 1,28,000 gram panchayats linked with optical fiber under Bharat Net program. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today called upon party MPs to take up public work and not just focus on politics in their constituencies. He asked them to disseminate to the people in their area about the new government schemes. He was addressing party MPs in the Parliament Library building today. Briefing media after the meeting, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi said the Prime Minister asked the members to sit with officials and listen to public grievances in their respective constituencies. Mr. Joshi informed that the Prime Minister expressed concern about the Minister's absence from their roster duty in the House. During the meeting, Mr. Modi also said that every MP should plan an innovative idea for the people in their area. The Rajya Sabha was adjourned till 2 p.m. following ruckus by opposition-led AIA, DMK and DMK over the issue of Postal Department examination in Tamil Nadu. They were demanding to cancel the examination, which was conducted only in English and Hindi and not in Tamil language. When the House met after the second adjournment at 12.21 p.m., the scene was no different as the members from AIA, DMK, DMK, Congress and TMC trooped into the well, demanding immediate cancellation of the examination. Left members were also on their feet. Amidst noisy scenes, Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, V. Murli Dharan said, Communication and Information Technology Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad is examining the matter and he will explain the issue in the House tomorrow. But the agitating members continued their protest. As pandemonium continued, the Deputy Chairman adjourned the House till 2 p.m. Earlier, the House witnessed two adjournments over the same issue. It was first adjourned till 12 noon and later again for 15 minutes. In Maharashtra, over 40 people are feared trapped in the debris of the four-story building that collapsed in Mumbai's crowded Dongri area this morning. The building, situated in Baba Lane of the area, housed 15 families. The NDRF, Fire Brigade and Police have reached the accident spot and rescue operations are on. Our correspondent reports the two bodies have been recovered from the debris. A report. The NDRF has retrieved two bodies from the debris while over 40 people are still feared trapped under the building that collapsed in Mumbai this morning. The Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation control room informed that the three injured persons rescued have been admitted to the JJ Hospital. 20 ambulances have been pressed into service while one NDRF team is carrying out the rescue operation. The Mumbai police is also on the accident spot. The police fear that the toll in this building collapse might rise. More details are awaited. Sonali Ghadar Patil, AIR News, Mumbai. The Supreme Court is now hearing a plea of rebel MLAs of the ruling Congress JDS coalition in Karnataka seeking directions to Assembly Speaker K.R. Ramesh Kumar to accept their resignations. Earlier, Speaker K.R. Ramesh Kumar said in the Apex Court that he would decide on both the disqualification and resignation of the rebel MLAs by tomorrow. He also requested the court to modify its earlier order directing him to maintain status quo on the matter. Senior Advocate A.M. Singhvi, appearing for the Speaker, submitted before a bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi that nobody is saying that Speakers are not fallible, but he cannot be asked to decide the matter in a time-bound manner. He also said that a valid resignation should be submitted to the Speaker personally, and the MLAs appeared before him only on the 11th of July, five days after they submitted their resignations to his office. The rebel MLAs told the court that the Speaker kept their resignations pending just to disqualify them and there was nothing wrong in resigning to escape disqualification. Earlier, 
सीनियर एडवोकेट मुकुल रोहत के अपियरिंग फॉर द रेबल एम एल ए सबमिटेड बिफोर द बेंच दैट द स्पीकर कैन बी डायरेक्टेड टू डिसाइड ऑन द रेजिग्नेशन ऑफ द एम एल एज बाई आफ्टरनून एंड ही कैन टेक अ कॉल ऑन दर डिस्कालीफिकेशन लेटर A bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi yesterday agreed to hear today a plea of five rebel Congress MLAs along with a pending petition of the 10 legislators. Meanwhile, hectic political parties are on so as to save the Congress Janata Dal secular government in Karnataka. In a surprise move last night, Karnataka Special Investigation Team probing the multi-crore IMA Joe's Ponzi scam detained the suspended Congress rebel MLA Roshan Beg. when he was about to board a chartered plane from the Bengaluru International Airport in a tweet chief minister H. D. Kumar Swamy alleged that the BJP state chief BS Yadiyurappa's personal assistant was also going along with Roshan Beg when he was leaving but BJP refuted this allegation and accused Kumar Swamy of using the state machinery to save his government Beg has moved the Karnataka High Court today challenging the SIT's move more from our correspondent Hectic political activities are going on in the ruling coalition government to garner the support of the rebel MLAs to save the government. Meanwhile, the rebel Congress MLA Ramalinga Reddy said that yesterday he could not meet the speaker due to some personal work, and if the speaker of his call him either today or tomorrow, he will meet the speaker. Since his resignation is not accepted, he will attend the session during the floor test. He said it may be recalled that Speaker K. R. Ramesh Kumar summoned Ramalinga Reddy and the Gopalaya yesterday evening to find out. the resignation was voluntary and union but both the mlas failed to meet the speaker har murthy ar news bengaluru this is all india radio giving you the news for quick news updates follow us on twitter at ir news alerts the flood situation in assam and bihar remains critical in assam 30 of the 33 districts of the state are submerged in flood water affecting 43 lakh people four persons lost their lives in the last 24 hours taking the death toll to 15 90% of kaziranga national park has been submerged the chief executive officer of the assam state disaster management authority aruna rajoria said nearly 1 lakh people are taking shelter at relief camps new areas have been inundated due to breach of embankments Union Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat took an aerial survey of the flood hit areas in Upper Assam. He will also hold a review meeting in Guwahati. Rescue and relief works have been intensified by the administration. We spoke to one of the affected districts, Nolbari's Deputy Commissioner Bharat Bhushan Dev Chaudhary on relief and rescue measures. In the Nalbari district of Lower Assam is covered by five major rivers and the danger level of water at Brahmaputra is fast rising and the people have taken shelter on the embankments and embankments are also getting loose so close observation is maintained over the embankment and in the other four rivers Buradia Pagladia and Mara Pagladia at several places the embankments have been breached and people have been rescued with the help of and DRF as DRF and the army and they have been brought to the relief center and health treatment have been provided by the district administration and the situation is very delicate but it is under close observation Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar today informed the state assembly that over 25 lakh people across 12 districts have been affected due to floods assuring people the chief minister said every effort would be made to provide assistance to the affected districts in the wake of floods in the state the chief minister said appropriate compensation would be provided to those affected he also said that incessant rainfall in nepal has resulted in rivers in bihar swelling and causing floods our correspondent has more on the flood situation in the state Several localities in Sitamarhi city are submerged due to rise in water level of Lakhandei river a portion of national highway number 57 connecting Darbhanga Sitamarhi swept away near Bishanpur train operations on Darbhanga Sitamarhi rail section has been stopped after overtopping of flood water on bridge between Kamtol and Jogiara large scale damage caused to national highways and rural roads in the flood affected areas Dharmendra Kumar Rai AIR news Patna In Nepal the death toll from floods and landslides triggered by heavy rains has gone up to 
30 persons are still missing and 50 have been injured. Our Kathmandu correspondent reports that normal life in 31 districts, mostly in the Tarai region, was affected due to heavy rainfall. Hundreds of houses have been damaged and thousands of people were displaced due to floods and landslides in the last six days. Transportation, electricity, water and communication services were also disrupted in many parts of the country. Relief and rescue operation is underway and more than 3,000 people have been safely rescued so far. Efforts are also on to restore all essential services. Relief material is being distributed in rain-hit areas and medical teams have been sent to prevent waterborne diseases. Meanwhile, situation is slowly improving. According to Flood Forecasting Division, water in major rivers is likely to remain at normal level in next three days. Weatherman forecasts rain at some places. Rajkumar, AIR News, Kathmandu. UN Chief Antonio Guterres has expressed sadness at the loss of life and destruction of property due to heavy monsoon rains in India and its neighboring countries. Mr. Guterres said the world body stands with them to provide support if required. Delhi Police Special Cell has nabbed a wanted Jesh Mohammed militant carrying a reward of 2 lakh rupees on his head from Srinagar. Our correspondent, quoting sources, reports Bashir Ahmad Ponnu was arrested in Srinagar and will be brought to Delhi. Ponnu, a resident of Jammu and Kashmir, Sopor, was on the run and the search for over four years came to an end yesterday. A Delhi court today granted bail to Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and his deputy Manish Sisodia in a criminal defamation case filed by BJP leader Vijender Gupta. Vijender Gupta, who is the leader of the opposition in the Delhi Assembly, had accused the Ahmadmi Party leaders of maligning his image by accusing him of attempting to kill the Delhi Chief Minister. Union Panchayat Raj Minister Narendra Singh Tomar informed the Lok Sabha today that over 1,28,000 gram panchayats linked with optical fiber under Bharat Net program are uploading photographic evidence of the works taken up by them and assistance given to beneficiaries. In his reply during the question hour, the minister said 2,19,000 gram panchayats have uploaded their development plan and the details of 16 lakh works taken up by them are on the website ensuring transparency. On empowering panchayats further, he said states which do not conduct local body elections are not funded under the Finance Commission. The government today said over 3 crore 10 lakh 77 thousand beneficiaries have received the second installment under Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi PM Kisan scheme till the 5th of this month with a cost of over 6,215 crore rupees. To improve green coverage in Assam, the state government will plant saplings in over 1,000 kilometers across the national highways. Our correspondent has filed this report on the project. The Assam government is to plant saplings spread over 1,000 kilometers across the national highways. Talking to AIR, State Forest and Environment Minister Parimal Suklabadya said that this initiative is being taken to improve green coverage in the state. He said that the National Highway Authority of India has sanctioned the plantation in more than half the plant length and that a variety of saplings will be planted near the national highways. The Assam government has decided that trees would be planted along 1,000 kilometers of national highways. So, we have written to the NHAI. Till now, 810 kilometers have been identified and provided to us by the highway authority. In one or two days, tendering would also be done and we are trying to do this within this year itself. News Justin, Rajya Sabha has been adjourned till 2.32 p.m. Prime Minister Narendra Modi offered his warm regards to the teachers, gurus and guides on the occasion of Guru Purnima. He said on the auspicious day of Guru Purnima, bow in reverence to all our gurus who have played an important role in inspiring, molding and shaping society. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asked MPs to disseminate information about new government schemes in their constituencies. Four-story building collapses in Mumbai, over 40 feared trapped. Supreme Court now hearing plea of rebel Congress JDS MLAs of Karnataka regarding their resignations. The flood situation remains critical in Assam and Bihar. Over 1,28,000 gram panchayats linked with optical fiber under Bharatnet program. 
For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.com. And with that, we end the midday news.